So I'm getting the, the hull ready for uh, the lamination on the starboard side that we plan to start this week. Um, but first, you see we have this overlap section here at the middle or mid, mid section of the, of the hull. And we're going to do the same from the starboard side overlapping to this line here. So the hull will have twice the thickness of the laminate here in the bottom part. Uh, same on the inside of the hull. And since we haven't used any peel ply here on this section, there is a potential risk that there is some uh, amine blush that has formed on the surface of the epoxy during the curing process. And that's something that forms from the carbon dioxide in the air together with high humidity levels. Uh, so I don't really think there is any amine blush. But just to be sure, we're going to clean this whole surface before we're sanding it. Uh, because if there is a mine blush uh, and you just leave it in place, you're running the risk of having a bad second bond and you could have problems later on with delamination because of that. And also if you just sand directly on that, um, you're just pushing the amine blush into the surface, which will also uh, give you problems later on. Uh, I'm just using warm water together with some uh, detergent and these uh, Scotch-Brite sponges. Yeah, amine blush is like an oily, waxy surface. You sometimes see it on the surface when it's been uh, cold, especially. Yeah, the reason we're having twice the thickness of the laminate here at the bottom part is just to support all those stress areas around the keel, where the prop shaft comes out and also the rudder and yeah it's nice to have a strong bottom part of the hull um, and also the weight in this case is in the correct place pretty low down in the boat so i think it's worth that extra weight to have a really strong hull down low so like i said it will be eight layers on the outside and then eight layers on the inside and this will sit together with the grid on the inside of the hull to make this really, really strong. And some of you might wonder why we didn't use peel ply over the whole surface, the top layer. And that was just practical reasons really, because it was hard during the working process to go back and put peel ply on top. That would have slowed us down a lot uh, the way we've been laminating the hull. So that's why we decided that this will be faster, just to clean the hull and sand it afterwards. Yeah, today is a pretty gray and rainy day outside, um, but at least it's a bit warmer, um, making it possible to work like this out here in the barn without having any heat on. I have started to sand the overlap section up on the hull now, and that's more or less ready. I'll just uh, make it dust free and wipe it down. And now I will start sanding the sides here where we have that primer. Uh, and we use peel ply on this, but I uh, will give it a light sand here as well. And then it's time to cut some more fiberglass and prepare the epoxy so we can uh, laminate tomorrow. Uh, this coming weekend is Christmas, so there won't be much work this week. We only have two more days after today that we can do lamination on the hull. Uh, but next week we have planned to do a lot of work because we're getting some help with Vera from our parents and that will free up a lot of time so we can work from early morning to late evening. I just hope that I have the time to prepare everything for that week because there's a lot of glass that we need to cut, a lot of epoxy that needs to be measured 
and also we need to give the whole hull a light sand and also some sanding on the overlap at the bow section. We picked up a Christmas tree and Vera decorated it. started on the other side of the hull. The first piece is applied and this is the most narrow one that we will uh, place on the whole hull I guess uh, and this is to start the sequence of overlapping with the different pieces of fiberglass. Uh, so we're gonna have three narrow pieces here. The next one will be a bit wider and then the third one a bit wider and then we're back to the full uh, width of uh, fiberglass uh, length. We got seven pieces on there today, so we're finished laminating for today. Now it's time to prepare for tomorrow. Six pieces applied and we ended with peel ply.
Christmas came and went, and we were getting ready to start our three-day lamination marathon. There's a storm coming in tonight, and uh, I'm planning to work late, uh, and we will have a bit over 50 knots later on this evening. Uh, so I guess it will be an interesting evening out here. Uh, you always tend to think about it, the barn is pretty big, and the way the wind direction is it's going to be tonight, it will be from the direction where the barn is most exposed. Uh, but I guess it will be fine. The barn has been here for a bit over 70 years, so I guess it will survive another storm. But uh, you sure think about it now when you have the boat in here and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> We made all the preparations for the rest of the hull. 36 pieces of fiberglass, cut and rolled. So it's first day today, the second day of our um, lamination marathon this week. Uh, yesterday was a really good day, we managed to do uh, 14 pieces in one day, but it was a very long day. Um, we worked from um, yeah, eight, to 8 something in the morning until uh, 11 in the evening. And uh, today is looking to be something similar but our goal for today is 15 pieces since uh, some of the pieces are a bit smaller today so we think we might it might be possible to do 15 so that means that we'll reach somewhere around here on the hull and then tomorrow we have this uh, last piece left Another batch of epoxy ready for today. We didn't film everything, but we got 15 pieces onto the hull. How does it feel <laughs> 15 hours <laughs> later? Oh, it's 11.30 p.m., almost midnight. And we've been working since 7.30 or you went out to turn on the heat at 7.30 this morning and we went both out here like at 8. Oh, it's itching from the mask. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what a day. I also have some marks on my face from that mask. 15 hours with that strapped to my head. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's been a really, really productive day, but a really long one. And for the last three pieces now, we've been using the fast hardener, which has uh, been a bit stressful actually, even if it's uh, not that warm in here. Um, that's the only hardener we have left now. So tomorrow we'll do eight pieces with the fast hardener. It's actually okay, but uh, it's a big difference from working with the slow hardener. Yeah, already this morning we were uh, pretty sore when we woke up after 14 hours or so yesterday. And then... Uh, we slept for like five hours. Yeah. Now it's uh, time to hit the bed and then up early tomorrow morning at six or seven. And then tomorrow the plan is to do another eight pieces. And if we can do that, that means that we're at the same level on this side or that we have reached as far on this side of the hull as we have on the other side. And that would be really great because that means that we only have a small piece left just around the balcony. It will feel like as if we were done. Yeah. With all the elimination because there's so little left. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, we've almost done 50 pieces on this side of the hull. Yeah, in just a few days. <laughs> mm. Are you going to dream about laminating? I don't know, I think I'm too tired. I'm not going <laughs> to dream at all. <laughs> I'm just going to crash in bed. And tomorrow we're picking up Vera again. We miss her. So we're still alive today, and uh, this is the first piece for, for the day. Uh, after this one we have five to go, and then we're finished. Uh, and as I said yesterday, today we're working with the fast hardener, so it's a bit more stressful, but uh, still okay. Uh, we can't use the plastic on the saturation table for as many pieces as we used to. Um, but besides that, it's more or less the same thing. Uh, we're at piece 44 now, or 45. After laminating roughly 175 square meters of 600 gram fiberglass cloth, together with 100 kilos of epoxy. In just three days, we finished the last piece. have on the other side oh, and we've been in a rush today not only because of the fast hardener but also because we were gonna pick up Vera at six so we have to leave an hour before and I think it's five o'clock like right now <laughs> so we finished just in time oh it's been three crazy days of uh, a lot a lot of lot of work so now we just have that little bow section, the bow cone left. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's Friday and now we're gonna take weekend. It feels so great to have 99% of the outside of the hull laminated before the new year.
Thank you for watching and a big thanks to everyone who supports our production.